there guys and welcome back to the shop for episode 55 on the Project Archie series. Today we're going to be setting our bearings in the J5 carriers. So you're going to need four, you should only have four, you're going to need your four LM3UU shaft bearings and we played with these a little while ago. You're going to need four M3 by four millimeter set screws. You're going to need your J5 carrier and you're going to need a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. I'm using my sexy Weera for this because I can. So this is actually pretty simple. What we're going to do is you take your little bearings and they're just going to go right in these holes. And I'm going to set that so it's flush, like just nice and flush. And then one of these microscopic little grub screws. Look how tiny that is. M3 by only four millimeters. And then without dropping that through, we're gonna go, I'm not entirely sure the angle, so you gotta be really careful doing this. Go backwards till it clicks, and then just the lightest of fingertip pressure to get in there. And then we'll check and make sure that's cool. And then, now that you've got one in on one side, grab the next one, and we're gonna push that in from the other side, like that. And it's cool. And yeah, this one's gonna, yeah. So just squeeze it on both sides. They'll sit pretty much exactly flush. So I had this one in a little bit. So just squeeze on both sides until you feel it. You'll feel it in the, the pads of your fingers where they're even, they're, they're both in the same amount. And they're just about perfectly flush. And we'll load a grub screw on the end of our driver. Get that lined up reasonably straight. Back till it clicks. Oh, I see a shiny piece there, which tells me I got a little piece of metal in there. You wanna be careful not to have any swarf. There's a little bit of flash in some of these from the machining process. Not in the screws, but in the actual part. And it can be tricky getting that lined up just right. And if it isn't just perfect, it's not gonna go in the hole. And you don't wanna force it, so I'm gonna get right down in here so I can see this up close and in person. And I may have, no, we got it, we got it. So if it's too much of a fight, check your hole. You might have like a, a tiny bit of debris in the hole or something like that. So. Now I've got them both just a quarter turn loose, slide these until you get them right where you want them, and then tighten them down. You don't need a lot of force holding these. We'd like to thank Zoom for the dog hair in there. Good boy. And then once they're down, not even, not even a quarter turn of tightening. Just, just fingertip snug. Okay, just, just like this. You're only doing that with your fingertip because you can crush those really easily and you don't want to do that. We just need enough force on these to keep these from sliding around in there. Now before I battle the other side, I'm going to take a minute and put these in a couple turns just so I can have this a little bit easier. Oh, that one dropped right in, okay. And make sure that they don't go in far enough to enter the hole or block the hole. But I got them in far enough now that I don't really have to worry about fighting them. So I'm gonna drop the top one in here and that dropped right down. Can I drop another one right on top of it? Yeah, yeah, I can. All right, cool. So even that out, nice and smooth. Okay, tighten that. Well, that goes way down in the hole. I could, I could use a much longer grub screw than that. So I got to transition over to here. That's going to be a bit of a fight. So you just take your time. 
I had to go to this side of the wrench because that side of the wrench has a longer engagement on it. The, the ball end's really stubby and I can't fit the shaft of the wrench down in the hole. But apparently I have a long way to go. I may have to go to a longer drumster on this. Because that's way down in there. Oh, we made it just in time. Okay. I was, I was getting nervous there. Just run this one down. Okay, all the way to the bottom. Now look at, look at how much of my wrench is down in that hole. Like that's all the way in there. So just fingertip pressure. If you're into lock picking, it's about the same tension you'd want on a, uh, a tension wrench for just a pin tumbler lock. It's really, it's not a lot. All right, you've got all four of your grub screws in. On this end, they stick out a little bit. That could be a shorter grub screw. They do make them shorter than that. And on this end, they're, they're a little deep in there, but we're assembled. That's your J5 carrier with your palm nut and all that and your bearings and everything ready to go. That's a, a wonderfully complicated little piece there. That's neat. All right, we're done with 55. You guys have fun. I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode. As always, I'm Chris Bowden and I'll see you next time. Thanks.